Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. Earlier this week, Google introduced a new way to build Google Earth Tours through Tor Builder. You can find it at torbuilder.withgoogle.com. And I'm going to give you a demonstration of how easy it is to build your tour with this tool. So to get started, we're going to click Create a Tour. And you do have to have the Google Earth plugin installed. As you can see, I already have it installed here. And we'll sign into my Google account. So now let's go ahead and give this tour a name. We'll just call this a practice tour of Maine. And we'll put in my name. And you'll notice that uh, the tour is private until you decide to share it with others. So if you're worried about making a mistake, don't be. It's private until you're ready to go. So now let's get started by adding an introductory picture to our project. Over here, we'll click Add a Photo. Now you'll see that Google is pulling in pictures from my Google account, my Picasa albums. Uh, I can also upload pictures if I want to, or I can go ahead and search for pictures on the web. If I want a picture of uh, a lighthouse in Maine, and you'll notice here all the results are labeled for reuse. Let's go ahead and let's add in that picture of a lighthouse in Maine. And we'll give our tour a little summary description here. We'll just say it's a short tour of neat places in Maine. And let's go ahead and add a location. So to get started, we can uh, add locations in one of two ways. We can zoom in on the Earth over here and then click drop a place mark and put the place mark wherever we want it to be. Or we can type a location. Uh, let's just say I want to type in a location here of Greenwood, Maine. And now that will zoom into Greenwood, Maine for me. And if I want to add that to my tour, I'll just click Add to Tour. I can add to my story some dates. Let's say I want to add August 2011 to November 2013. And we'll say, I lived in Greenwood for a couple of years. Now, that's very similar to adding information to a place mark in a Google Map or a Google Earth. Uh, that You can add text, and we can hyperlink parts of our text. Uh, but what's neat about the Tor Builder is that when we add images, we'll add images and photos up here, you can add up to 25 images and videos to each one of your place marks, and those will be displayed as a slideshow of sorts. Let's go ahead and add some photos. And now you'll notice we have more options than we did when we were adding our cover photo. Uh, we can pull in things from our albums or our YouTube accounts. We can upload photos and videos. We can go ahead and take a picture or a video using the webcam built into our computers. Or we can go out and search just like we did earlier. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload a few photos. And I can do that by dragging them from my desktop, or I can select photos from my computer. And in this case, I'm going to select some photos from my computer. Let me go ahead and add a couple pictures of my dogs in this case. I'll add that one. 
and I might add that one. All right, so my pictures are now uploaded. I can add a little caption to them, and I can say Morrison canoes on a pond in Greenwood. And I can add a little caption to this one. And I might say Max sleeps on a bed in Greenwood. And now let's add those. And so both of those pictures now at, added to my place mark. Let's go ahead and add one more location. And this time we're going to drop a place mark. Now it says drop a place mark right here on Woodstock. Now this is a custom location, so we're going to say add to tour. And we're going to name it Woodstock, Maine. And we'll say add a start date. And I might say, I just moved here. I'm going to add a couple of photos. So again, I'm going to upload photos. And I might pull something off of my desktop. Perhaps I'll pull in this picture of a big phone. And I'm going to add the caption, this is a landmark in town. So now I'm done adding places to my tour. You can see if I want to continue to add, I just add more locations. If I want to change the icon, let's go ahead and change the icon and make it a different color. I'll make that one purple, or I could select the, the flag icon. Down here in our advanced options, we can turn on historical imagery if we like. But I'm done editing this map. And we're playing the, playing the tour in slow motion. If we want to play it full screen, we'll go back to the introduction. We'll play this tour in full screen. And I just clicked on the place mark. You notice over here I can now scroll through. So if I had 25 pictures I could scroll through all 25 of them. If I put a video in there we could play the video directly in that pane without having to uh, open another browser tab. So that's how you can create a tour in Tour Builder. I'm going to exit full screen here. We're going to go ahead and share this. As you may recall, this is a private project right now. So I clicked on share. We're going to click change. I'm going to say anyone who has the link has access to this project now. And I'll simply share that link with anyone that I want to view my tour. So that's Tour Builder in a nutshell. Give it a try. I think it's a great way for students to build short tours in Google Earth.